Our second Outstanding Teaching and Mentoring Award recipient is Kyle Johnson. Kyle Johnson is entering his ninth year as an educator and is being honored as a teacher and coach at Adrian High School. He graduated from Adrian High School in 2010 and went on to Siena Heights University where he earned a bachelor's degree in special education. He furthered his education at Western Governors University where he obtained a degree in educational leadership. Currently, he teaches special education and is a head varsity baseball coach. Kyle is invested in the success of Adrian High School and his students. This is evident when looking upon his involvement in the variety of school initiatives. Along with his teaching and coaching responsibilities, he is a member of the Adrian High School School Improvement Team and a co-leader of the Maple Mentors and a summer school teacher. He has also spent time helping with the Adrian High School online tutoring program and is the SAT coordinator for students with disabilities. I've known Kyle since he was a student. I saw what potential he had as a student athlete going through Adrian schools. Had the opportunity to work with him when he was a student teacher and am just so proud of the young educator, father, coach, and person he has become. He is an absolute integral part to our team as a coach, as a teacher, and as a mentor. But if you walked into his classroom at any time, you would see someone that first and foremost loves and cares about kids and makes them, because of that relationship, want to do work and want to get better and succeed and realize their full success and potential as a student. So Kyle, congratulations. I couldn't be more proud of you and I can't wait for what's to come in the future. Prior to becoming the head varsity baseball coach, he was the varsity baseball assistant coach, an assistant varsity football coach, and an assistant powerlifting coach. After his third season as the head baseball coach, many accolades were bestowed on Coach Johnson. He was named the District and Regional Coach of the Year, Southeastern Conference White Division Coach of the Year, and Lenawee County Coach of the Year. Kyle credits his dad for his inspiration for coaching. He said, growing up, he has always been my coach, and I always admired how reliable he was and willing to work with me when I had a bad game or needed to work out of a slump. That type of relationship is evident with Kyle and the student-athletes that he coaches today. The athletes respect Coach Johnson and are thankful for his support. One player stated, He inspired me to be better with his constant, upbeat attitude and goal-chasing enthusiasm. And when I had a lack of experience, Coach saw my effort and put the same amount of effort to help me get better. I nominated Mr. Johnson for this award because he's a great teacher and he's very understanding of kids' different learning abilities in the classroom. He's very positive and he wants the best for his students. I had Coach Johnson for powerlifting and he helped me a lot during my seventh grade season. Um, it was my first year and I went to my state meet and I filled my deadlift PR and I was like super upset about it. And then I went and talked to him and Mr. Brown about it. And like he just like calmed me down and told me how I'll get it next time. He's also a good role model and shows kindness to everyone. He's just like overall a good person and he, he always knows how to like cheer people up. And he's like very jokative and like, I don't know, he's just a good person overall. I'm a senior and um, Coach Johnson's been my coach since my freshman year. Um, he's a really good coach, really motivates the team when we're down. And um, he's always just high spirited discipline and that's what he really taught me to be disciplined with my grades and and my baseball like my baseball talent so that was that was just a very big thing for me he makes kids want to come to school when we won districts it was the first time in i think 13 14 years or something like that and we all got like really excited and like we don't gatorade on them we ain't never done we've never done that before so that was like really cool. I've never done that personally, like even with any of my other coaches. So it was just great to celebrate that way. He encourages, encourages us to try harder and do our work and he helps us on anything that we need help with. And he makes sure like he, could, he will go over anything as many times as you want until you um, get a hold of it and like understand it. Yeah, Coach Johnson is he's 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 a very friendly he's a friendly person. Like he's he's like my friend. He's my friend and my coach. 
Like he knows he knows when to flip the switch to be a coach and when to be a when to be a friend. In the classroom, one of Kyle's ongoing goals is to inspire students to believe in themselves and always strive to give their best effort. He himself strives to build a positive relationship with his students and challenges them when necessary. His classroom supports a learning environment where students feel comfortable and take risks. Several students supported Kyle's nomination for this award, and their comments reflect his success as a teacher. The students had this to say about him. Mr. Johnson is deserving of this honor because he wants the best for all his students. Another stated, Mr. Johnson is patient and understanding of every student's pace and abilities. He is always willing to help make students feel comfortable when asking questions. And another said, Mr. Johnson makes students want to come to school and is encouraging. He never gives up on you. Kyle describes Adrian as a place that holds a lot of importance to him. His grandfather, Richard Gaver, taught and coached here in the late 60s. His mom and dad were both Maples, and he married his high school sweetheart, Taylor Espinoza, a 2010 Adrian High School grad who he met while being a student here. Kyle and Taylor are proud parents of their four-year-old son, Bryce, who will soon be a Maple too. Proud of you, man. Keep up the good work. Congratulations, Mr. Johnson. You are very deserving of this award. Congratulations, Coach Johnson. Good job, Mr. Johnson. Congratulations, Mr. Johnson. Congratulations, Coach, on your Outstanding Teacher and Mentor Award. Congratulations, Kyle, on being selected one of Adrian Public School's Outstanding Teachers and Mentors. Thank you so much for the impact that you're making every day. Please come forward and accept your award. First off, I'd like to thank the uh, APS and the Adrian Schools Educational Foundation um, and all those who are involved in this to make this award possible. I'm extremely honored to be up here uh, and to be honored with this great group of leaders and individuals within our community and schools. The recognition of Teacher of the Year really means a lot to me and I'm truly grateful for this honor. Maya Angelou says that people will forget what you say, they'll forget what you do, but they will never forget the way that you make them feel. This quote has resonated with me as both a coach and a teacher. Every day I try to make my students feel good about themselves and you know, really want to be within the building. Whether that's with a corny joke on the ball field or within a daily lesson. They say if you do something that you love, you'll never work a day in your life. And I can truly say that I love what I do. To all the educators, family members, students and athletes who challenged me and inspired me to be a better teacher and coach, I thank you. Adrian, again, is a very special place to me. Not too long ago, I was one of these goofy high school students walking around the halls trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my life. And when I really sat down and started to think about this question, I thought about the teachers and coaches who made an impact on my life. They inspired me to be great. Adrian is a place that has drove me into teaching, and I'm very excited to see the positive impact that I'm making on this school, the way that this school has made an impact on me. Adrian is a place that provided me with a lot of opportunities to be successful. I think that the thing I love most about Adrian is that it's not perfect. It's a melting pot of many different cultures, races, and socioeconomic statuses. We have ups and downs and everything in between, but in the end, it's a school and a community filled with great people. I think teaching's a lot like that. There are many ups and downs, but in the end, great people make it worth it. I would like to thank all the people who have continually pushed me and supported me throughout this journey. First, I'd like to thank my wife, Taylor, and my son, Bryce. Taylor, I'm not sure how you managed to fall in love with me in French class here in Madame Mole, uh, but I guess it was all the corny jokes and persistence that really paid off. <laughs> I can't thank you enough for all your support over these years. I don't believe I would be standing in this position right now if it weren't for you. You always keep me motivated and positive through all the tough times as a teacher and a coach, um, especially when things don't go my way. So thank you for that. And Bryce, who I'm sure is here watching Pokemon or Blippi or something more important than me, uh, I love you, buddy. Uh, you know, coming home to you and watching you grow throughout these years has really kept me motivated um, and has, has always put me in a positive mood and I look forward to watching you grow into a, a great maple one day. Second, I'd like to thank my parents, John and Jill, uh, and my brother Ben. Mom and Dad, the support and love that you guys have given me throughout the years has been incredible. You've always challenged me to be a good person, to work hard, and to give everything that, uh, my all. Ben, being a big brother is not always an easy job. For you, it kind of is, because, you know, 
to me. Um, but in all honesty, uh, you've always been a person that I can look up to and someone that I can count on, and I truly appreciate that. To my in-laws, Marnie and Frank, I thank you guys for always supporting me and being involved in our lives. From stopping by our house to drop off gifts for Bryce or coming to a baseball game to watch us play, uh, you know, those things don't go unnoticed, and I can thank you guys so much for that. Uh, to all my friends, colleagues, administrators, past teachers, current and former students and players, thank you for making the job so rewarding. They say that teaching is a thankless job, but I can disagree with that. All of you continue to push me. You guys are the reason that I'm excited to come to work. You challenge me, motivate me, and inspire me to be better, and that's something that I cannot repay to you. Once again, I want to thank everybody who has made this very possible for me um, and who has been involved in this process. I'm extremely proud to be a Maple, and I will always be one, and I'm honored to stand up here today and, and be a part of this. So as always, go Maples.